Welcome to Crazy Downs, 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's start the timer. It started. TNT, let me ask you a question here. It's very important. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. It is. <laughs> oh, what I'm is sure. your favorite way to cook chicken? I don't really cook, Jonas. I mean, if you make some chicken, what kind of seasonings you put on it, though? Like, what do you use? <laughs> you know I meal prep. You know what I use. But you make chicken sometime. What do you put on it? What seasonings do you use? I've never using? once made chicken ever except for meal prep. Ever. Yeah, but, like, what do you put on it? What seasonings? Uh, okay, so I usually just, like, take ground chicken, <clears throat> and I put it in a pan, and I use cumin, uh, a little bit of adobo, See, look at that. Uh, I use some Mrs. Dash. <laughs> and Ooh, I use, hell and I, yeah. I use some, tur yeah, hell yeah. I use some turmeric. Ooh. And I use, uh, the, the, what do you, garlic powder. Maybe, okay, Maybe All some right. uh, chili powder from okay. Killing Adventure. And trust me, this is actually going somewhere. Oh, I already know where it's going. Yeah, do you? Yeah, right. I do. You know, I personally, I grill chicken, and I use a six-spice blend. I take six spices, blend them six spices together. What are, six, are they secret? Well, they're different rubs from H-E-B. Oh, okay. Because, like, okay, so there used to be a rub I used all the time. Yeah. And they stopped making it. Like, mm. it was H-E-B's brand of rub. That's a grocery store. So I was like, oh, that's never going to go away. Ha, ha, ha. They did. They took it away. Nah. They came out with a whole new slew of rubs. You can probably find out how to, like, make it on the internet well, and stuff. Well, what's funny is I, I asked the people who worked at H-E-B. None of them had any idea what I was talking about. I'm like... You literally sell chicken with this rub on it in the deli. Like, how do you not know what the, I'm talking about? Anyways. They pay so, them to work there, not to care. Right, exactly. <laughs> I even asked the meat market guys. They would probably know. Anyways. So they, what happened was I tried all these different rubs. I was like, oh, this one looks like it's the same color. It was close, but not the same. So what I figured out, if I took six different ones, the barbecue blend, the fajita blend, the, uh, the acha something blend, the all-purpose blend, and the, the orange citrus blend, Mix them all together. What the hell? Equal parts. Almost equal parts. Uh, look, Jonas, I, I love you to death, but you are an insane man. <laughs> Why? You are an insane Why person. is that insane? It's pretty insane. I just make a tub of it, and then I use it, and yeah, then it's look, done. I, I mean, just use a quarter cup of each. You can you can say that all you want. You, that's 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 a borderline. Why is that borderline? I mean, it's better than NyQuil, I guess. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> spoiler. That was that a spoiler? Because that's where I was going with Everybody this. Everybody knows about the NyQuil chicken, and yeah, it's ridiculous. Dude. <laughs> Everybody knows. I like... I've seen the video. Did you see the original video? I, I did. Okay. Oh, I saw some of it. Mm -hmm. Like, the dude just putting it on, like, a grilled cheese pan. Yeah. Call, and then he's like, I'm like, why don't you just, put, why don't you just boil it in it? Like, why are you doing it that way? I figure you would get more more seeping into the chicken if you boil it. Why do you want it to seep and in? And then also, why are you using green death flavor? At least use the cherry. It tastes a little better. No, I like original. Ew. Yeah. You would. I would. <laughs> okay. I don't know I mean, what that I even do. means. but I do. Yeah, you're yeah, not dude. even wrong. I would. Like, okay. You're not even wrong. I just think that it's wild that the government and like agencies have to like put out a warning, like, "Hey, kids, make sure you're not following this TikTok." And they had to do it with the Tide Pods. Like, I just can't they, they did it with the Tide Pods. They did that. The internet is just people are just like, "Oh, I see it on the internet. It must be safe." Well, safe is probably not what's going through their mind. They're like, probably not thinking this is safe. They're probably thinking this is funny, and I want to mimic that. Yeah. I yeah. don't know if they're necessarily looking like, oh, I'm going to do the safest thing on TikTok. Here it comes. This is super safe, kids. So do this at home. No, they're like, this is super funny, kids. Watch. Yeah, I mean, who doesn't want to eat some green chicken? I mean, look, Jonas, I'm not going to sit up here and lie and say that I don't want to try it. And that part of me is like, I wonder what NyQuil chicken tastes like. Yeah, dude, it, but, the, but the vapors, man. The vapors. No, <laughs> breathe in the vapors. It's, it's, it's NyQuil. What is it going to do? Make you snoozeful? It's going to yeah, make you well, drowsy? There used to be people, you know, like, I think back in the day, robo tripping was a thing where people would just drink a whole bottle of Robitussin to get effed up. I mean, yeah, that'll and then do I, it. I have seen someone, well, I didn't see them actually drink the NyQuil, but I, they came over to a place I was at one time, and they had just drank a bunch of NyQuil. And then you, like, try to stay awake, right? Like, and then you yeah. get all, like, whoa. But, like, sure. they just look like they were comatose, man. They were just, like, they're like, this, they're like, this is hard to stay up. And I'm, like, you just took a whole bottle of sleep aid. Of course yeah. it's hard to stay yeah. awake. Yeah. Yeah. Like, 
And it's not, you know, okay, look, I'm not trying to defend the rope, the uh, the NyQuil chicken community out here. I'm not. But I am like, you know, as long as you're not like putting your face over it and huffing it down, you, you know, right? But that's what people are doing. And they Why say, would you huff it? That's insane. they want to get high. No, I'm t- not the back whole point in your of it day. Is to get high, dude. People aren't making NyQuil chicken for flavor. They're doing it to get high. No, they're making it because it's a funny meme. Is it Sleepy Joe chicken? Nobody's out there huffing NyQuil, Jonas. Nobody's doing that. The, even the guy in the video said that he was getting tired yeah, from because the... it was it was funny. Yeah. That was that was probably the funniest yeah, part of it. Yeah, it's yeah. like, woo, making this chicken makes me kind of snoozy or drowsy <laughs> yeah, or whatever. whatever. I was like, that's hilarious. Said, yeah, dude. But I but, don't know, man. That is. It, I, I don't know. It's I, look. I'm not gonna sit up here and lie and say that when I saw that, I didn't think about making it myself. I was like, hey, you know what? Might want to get that a shot. Not gonna lie. Are we gonna not, put it on the channel? I'm, no, I'm not doing it. Oh, I'm look. I'm Joe. I'm a man of a certain age. That doesn't you mean know? you can't drink Nyquil on chicken. No, nah, I'm good on that. Um, <laughs> probably, probably good. I'll just continue to use my cumin and tur- turmeric. You know, you know what else I saw? I saw that there. Uh, and I didn't read into it deep enough, but like I saw an article that uh, Voodoo Donuts is in Austin, and they're oh. known for having like w- really crazy kind of donuts. They'll have like Oreo cookie donuts with like Oreos jammed in them, yeah, and like yeah. f- like Fruit Loop donut, like they really outlandish donuts. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And uh, oddly enough, you can even go there and get five gallon buckets of day old donuts for like twenty bucks. Like a dude at work did it one time. It comes in like a literal five gallon bucket and you open up and they just like throw all their day old donuts in there. That's gross. And it's they were all pretty good. That was back when I ate a bunch of like fat boys. It's like, like Kanye it. Gap like uh type of marketing. Yeah, yeah. And well they I guess they used to have a donut that they actually put Pepto Bismol in. Okay, and okay. and like they had to like they got they had to like got contacted and were like well, you yeah. cannot put over the counter medicine in your food. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like, FDA got to him yeah, yeah yeah so i was gonna bring that one up and i was gonna be like well see you know people use this kind of stuff in cooking you know i wouldn't say all the time but and I, you know what putting a little pepto in your donut that hey ain't gonna i mean me. it's gonna give you heartburn anyway that part it's like Dude, getting a good in the cart before the horse i read bit. i read that and it hit me so close to home because like i used to love donuts when i was a kid now if i eat donuts i do get heartburn right. i don't know why donuts are like the only food that if i flip it eat them I just get like this, like this, like heartburn from, and I think it's because they're basically like formed sugar. Heartburn. I don't even. I don't even know if I've ever had heartburn. It's like where you, your stomach acid's like coming back up in your throat. Like acid reflux. Kinda. Reflux? Yeah, that's like what heartburn is essentially. Yeah, I don't as know. far as I understand, I could be completely wrong, but it's like where it's almost like your. It's like it's warm Ew. in your throat. And no. it's, yeah, dude. <laughs> Are we gonna discuss that? <laughs> <laughs> all right, out of context. All right, don't 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 isolate my warm in the throat comment. Okay. I'm just saying, Jonas, is that while you nobody should do the Nyquil Chicken Channel challenge at home, I just don't want you to count it out as we could do it at our home. All right. I mean, Nobody should do it at home. I wanted to do it, and you said no. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm saying I'm open to it, but you would have we to do it. We get some tenderloins, dude. They, not- oh, they'd be real nice. Get a nice cut, dude. Heck yeah, dude. We could just take like aspirin too. We could take aspirin, melt it why down. Don't, oh, why don't we bread them in aspirin? Bread them in aspirin. Then, I like and this. And then fry them in Nyquil on the stove. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, or we could just bread bread them in aspirin and then dip them in Nyquil. Oh, just braise them. <laughs> yeah, braise <laughs> get them. Like, and then... get, get a brush. Yeah, dude. Just, keep, the just put them on the grill. Just keep it'll get a nice thick like barbecue yeah. type. And oh, this... just like a green thick freaking. <laughs> This is, uh, this is exactly why TikTok needs to go, man. <laughs> I love TikTok. I'm not gonna lie. I no longer have it on my phone because it is addicting. It is mind crack. And, oh yeah. And it, it and this is part of the reason why it, it it needs to go because oh yeah. Somebody does something funny, then other people are like, I don't even know how many people are doing this. I don't know if it's like. A I big- mean, if the FDA came out and said that, like. They must have people that get into the hospital about it. Yeah, I was, I was thinking that, or they might just be trying to get out ahead of it. But I don't know, man. From like, from like the uh, devious licks to the Kia boys to the Nyquil chicken, the Tide Pods to Smack a Teacher Challenge. Do you remember that one? No, no, I remember. Devious licks was funny though. But the Smack a Teacher Challenge, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. dude. 
speaking of which, I was watching an old episode of Tosh.0 yeah. <laughs> randomly, and they, they had this thing where these kids were doing the Smarty Challenge. They were like, let's do the Smarty Challenge! And they had crushed Smarties, and they, were, they just like took a giant spoonful of Smarties and threw it in their mouth, and of course it dries out your... And you're just like, oh! <laughs> just a shit. <laughs> this shit went everywhere. Have you ever done that where you try to eat a bunch of uh, crackers? No, I did the cinnamon challenge, though, when that was Yeah, it's thing. basically the same thing, right? Yeah, it didn't do anything to me. Oh, really? No. Well, most people, it gets them when they when they finally, like, the cough, because then all the cinnamon gets up in your nasal, and then you're like, that's when you get effed up. Yeah, it, so, didn't, it didn't do anything to me. All right, anyways, that's all the time. Every day's episode, go to thecrazetown.com uh, for Jonas. T.O.T. Uh, we out.